Hey guys, welcome back. And today I have another GI Joe to review. Um, this is the MK47 Advanced Grenadier. A pretty rare one and uh, also very cool. So let's get started. Here's his box. As you can see, this is one of the newer GI Joes that was released in 2004. Um, just based off the box. And that's a pretty nice looking box. I always like these boxes a lot. Thought they were pretty cool looking. But uh, there's the figure down there. Okay, here's the back of the box. Um, bigger picture of the figure description. Okay, um, on this side, I have some other figures, which I have these two. I uh, don't have this one. And up top, <coughs> there's his equipment list. Uh, it doesn't come with a whole lot of stuff. And as I said, this figure was released in 2004. Uh, one of the, I guess, one of the last uh, G.I. Joe models, really, of these kind of figures, anyway. So here's the actual figure. As I said, uh, another nice one here. Uh, there he is. Uh, with his grenade gun and that looks really cool with him uh, using it okay so for starters I'll show you the actual weapon here which is very nice uh, got a lot of nice details on this thing okay so here it is Alright, so this ammo strip can come off, and this is really cool. A uh, nice detail on there, I like the paint, that's really cool. Okay, um, overall it's got some nice details, it's got a lot of nice uh, coloring on it. Especially in the front, I like the blue lenses, uh, that's really cool looking. Okay, and it can be moved, so you can swivel it around. And the function with this is if you press down on this little uh, bar here, it will shoot out the projectile grenade. And uh, that works pretty well. It shoots pretty far. Okay, so overall, very uh, good quality weapon here. And it looks really good with the figure. And uh, I think that's, that's kind of the main attraction with this. Uh, G.I. Joe figure is the grenade gun. But let's take a look at the figure now because uh, he's also pretty cool. So there he is, pretty uh, uh, basic uniform. As I said, doesn't really come with a lot of equipment. Actually, it comes with hardly any equipment. There's his head up close. I'll go ahead and take off his helmet. Uh, pretty nice looking helmet, and uh, especially like the goggles on top. Those are very nice looking. And also a nice strap. And here's his head sculpt. Uh, this is a pretty rare sculpt. I only have, this is my second one of this head sculpt. Uh, it's one of my favorites actually. Uh, I think it looks really nice. Okay, um, he does have a belt here, uh, nothing on the belt, so that just stands alone, and uh, other than that, you have a basic camo uniform here, um, let's take a look at his boots, I like his boots a lot. These ones are slightly different than the normal uh, tan boots that are included. Um, they have more uh, dirt detailing on it. I don't know if you can see that from the camera, but uh, yeah, they just look a little uh, muddier. So I thought that was kind of cool. And one last thing 
is dog tag is included with this figure. Alright. And that's pretty much it guys. Uh, really cool figure. Um, like I said, it doesn't really come with a whole lot of equipment. That's because, you know, you got this big uh, grenade gun here. But it's really cool and I definitely recommend this figure if you can find him. As I said, he's kind of a rare one. Um, but I got him off eBay for around, uh, I think it was $35, so it's a pretty good deal. So uh, thanks for watching this video, guys, and I also wanted to thank everybody who subscribed to my channel. I just recently made it to 200 subscribers, and uh, that was really exciting for me. So thank you, everybody, and uh, I will see you next time.